The most important thing is it's a first expedition that is done for charity, not for the individual grandizement of the people going on it, but for a cause that's sort of bigger and better than all of us. The challenge is extreme remoteness. You're in the center of five million square miles of ever-shifting sea ice. Extreme climate, temperatures can drop to 40 below or colder. Winds, that can rise up with three-day storms that can leave you pinned in your tents for three days at a time. And whiteouts, a condition where sea fog moves in and leaves you like swimming through a bowl of skim milk where you have no depth perception and in fact you really can't negotiate out there at all and are obliged to hang tight and wait for the weather to lift. Every night on the web, people are going to be able to do, just like an old-time movie serial, they'll be able to follow the events, the action, what happened. Not like a television series or a movie, but literally what's happening every night and the excitement and the drama that will bring the family together. We're traveling over a moving surface towards an invisible target, so the time frame is left a bit open. We could clock a few miles a day, or on a good day we might clock as much as 20. But uh, we hope to arrive at the pole sometime between our 12th and 16th day on the sea ice. Great Aspirations is a charity, and normally charities ask people to give them money. I don't want anybody to give me any money. What I want you to do instead is if you want to help this charity, and I really would love your help, what I'd like you to do is go spend 10 minutes with a kid.